Indian Institute of Science IISC is a public institute for research and higher education in science, engineering, design, and management. It is located in Bangalore, India, was established in 1909 with active support from Jamshedji Tata and H.H. Sir Krishnaraja Wodiyar IV, the Maharaja of Mysore. It is also locally known as the Tata Institute. It was granted the deemed university status in 1958. History After an accidental meeting between Jamseji N. Tata and Swami Vivekananda on a ship in 1893 where they discussed Tata's plan of bringing the steel industry to India, Tata wrote to Vivekananda five years later. I trust, you remember me as a fellow traveller on your voyage from Japan to Chicago. I very much recall at this moment your views on the growth of the ascetic spirit in India. I recall these ideas in connection with my scheme of Research Institute of Science for India, of which you have doubtless heard or read. Impressed by Vivekananda's views on science and leadership abilities, Tata wanted him to guide his campaign. Vivekananda endorsed the project with enthusiasm, and Tata, with the aim of advancing the scientific capabilities of the country, constituted a provisional committee to prepare a plan for setting up of an institute of research and higher education. The committee presented a draft proposal to Lord Curzon on 31 December 1898. Subsequently, Sir William Ramsey, a Nobel laureate, was called on to propose a suitable place for such an institution who suggested Bangalore as the best location. The Nizam of Hyderabad H.E.H. Mir Osman Ali Khan too played a vital role in the upliftment of the institute. The Nizam made the biggest contribution in terms of money which amounted to 3 lakh rupees over a period of 31 years. The land and other facilities for the institution were donated by H.H. Sir Krishnaraja Wodiyar IV, the Maharaja of Mysore, a princely state now called State of Karnataka, and Tata himself. The Maharaja donated about 371 acres (1.50 square kilometers) of land. Tata gave several buildings towards the creation of IISC. The constitution of the institute was approved by the Viceroy, Lord Minto, and the necessary vesting order to enable it to function was signed on 27 May 1909. Early in 1911, the Maharaja of Mysore laid the foundation stone of the institute, and on 24 July, the first batch of students were admitted to the Departments of General and Applied Chemistry under Norman Rudolph and Electro-Technology under Alfred Hay. Within two months, the Department of Organic Chemistry was opened. In 1958, the institute was granted the deemed university status by the UGC. At the time of the inception of IISC in 1909, Morris Travers, Sir William Ramsey's co worker in the discovery of the noble gases, became its first director. For Travers, this was a natural continuation of his work on the institute, since he had played a role in its founding. The first Indian director was the Nobel laureate Sir C. V. Raman. Raman was the Indian science-based Nobel laureate. The current director is Anurag Kumar. The institute was the first to introduce master's programs in engineering. It has also started integrated doctoral programs in biological, chemical, physical and mathematical sciences for natural science graduates. Topic. Campus. The IISC campus is located in the north of Bengaluru, about 4 km from Bangalore City Railway Station and Kempegowda Bus Station, on the way to Yeshwantpur. The institute is about 35 km from Kempegowda International Airport. A number of other research institutes, Raman Research Institute, Indian Space Research Organization ISRO, Wood Research Institute and Central Power Research Institute CPRI, are close to IISC. Most of these institutes are connected to IISC by a regular shuttle bus service. The campus houses more than 40 departments marked by routes such as the Gulmohar Marg, the Mahogany Marg, the Badami Marg, the Tala Marg, the Ashoka Marg, the Nilgiri Marg, the Silver Oak Marg, the Amra Marg, and the Arjuna Marg. 
The institute is fully residential and is spread over 400 acres of land in the heart of Bengaluru city. The campus features six canteens, cafeterias, a gymkhana, gymnasium and sports complex, a football ground and a cricket ground, four dining messes, halls, one multi-cuisine restaurant, nine men's and five women's hostels, dormitories, an airstrip, a library, two shopping centers and residences of the faculty members and other staff, besides other amenities. The IISC campus harbors both exotic and indigenous plant species with about 110 species of woody plants. The roads on the campus are named after the dominant avenue tree species. The architecture of the main building, which today houses the administration and the prestigious faculty hall, is classical in style, fronted by a grey, handsome tower. In front of it stands the work of Gilbert Bays, a noble monument erected in the memory of J. N. Tata. At its feet is an inscription that serves to remind future generations of the generosity of Jamshedji Tata and the persistence with which he worked for the welfare of India. The building, as one of the prominent landmarks of Bengaluru, was designed by C. F. Stevens and Company of Bombay in 1912-13. The buildings for the metallurgy and aerospace departments were designed by the German architect Otto Kernigsberger in 1940. A second campus is in Chalakere, on 1,500 acres (6.1 square kilometers) lot of land. It currently holds the Talent Development Center, established in 2011. Topic rankings IISC was ranked 251 to 300 in the world by the Times Higher Education World University Rankings of 2018, the top institute in India, as well as 21 in Asia and the 2018 ranking and 14 among BRICS and Emerging Economies University Rankings in 2017. The QS World University Rankings of 2019 ranked IISC 170 in the world, as well as 51 in Asia and 10 among BRICS nations. The Academic Ranking of World Universities ranked it 301 to 400 in the world in 2017, the only institute in India to be ranked by this ranking. It was ranked top university first place in India by the National Institutional Ranking Framework University Ranking and Overall Ranking for 2018. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Academic divisions, departments and centers. For academic purposes, departments and centers in the institute are broadly assigned to either the science faculty or the engineering faculty. For administrative purposes such as faculty recruitment, assessment and promotion, departments and centers are classified into six divisions, each headed by a chairperson. Each department or center is administered by a chairperson. The following centers are directly under the director without a divisional chairman. Topic. Academic programs Topic. Doctoral degree programs Research students constitute more than 70% of the students on the campus. PhD degrees offered in 40 different disciplines. Research programs leading to doctoral degrees are the main thrust in many departments. The program has a limited amount of coursework, essentially to prepare the student to carry out the research, but the main emphasis is on the thesis work. The annual intake of research students is approximately 250 with several candidates sponsored from educational institutions and industries. The research students constitute the largest group 50% on the campus. The integrated PhD program is designed to offer opportunities to 3-year BSc graduates for pursuing advanced research in areas of biological, chemical, mathematical and physical sciences leading to the PhD degree. Topic master's degree programs Master's degrees offered by the institute are classified into two categories, degrees by coursework M. Tech, MMGT, and MDES, and degrees by research, M. Tech, research. The two-year M. Tech program is available in almost all engineering departments. Due to stiff competition, one needs a high percentile in the graduate aptitude test in engineering for admission into this program. 
A unique feature of the programs at the Institute is the credit system which allows students to tailor the courses to suit their aptitude, interest and research requirements. Most M.Tech programs have a set of hard core courses specified as an essential requirement whereas students can take rest of the credits from many courses available in their parent or other departments and also do a dissertation work on the topic of their choice. These courses attract highly motivated accomplished students, in addition to several sponsored candidates from R&D labs, industries and also from educational institutions under the Quality Improvement Program. The Department of Management Studies, one of the oldest management schools in the country established in 1948, offers a Master of Management program exclusively for engineering graduates. The Center for Product Design and Manufacturing offers the Master of Design M. Des. course. Started in 1996, the M. Des. program is a two-year, full-time postgraduate program. Topic. Bachelor's degree programs An undergraduate program was conceived, for students who had completed Class 12, during the centenary celebrations in 2009. The first batch of students was admitted in 2011. The program offers a four-year Bachelor of Science research and a five-year integrated Master of Science course in six disciplines – Biology, Chemistry, Environmental Science, Material Science, Mathematics, and Physics. The course aims at exposing the students to the interdisciplinary nature in which scientific research is done in many upcoming fields, and comes at a time when the importance of science education at the undergraduate level is emphasized and several incentives are provided by the government to promote the same. This program makes the graduates eligible to apply for postgraduate degree programs in foreign universities, many of which may require 16 years of education before entering a postgraduate degree program. In India, Bachelor of Science research graduates are eligible to apply for CSIRNET, a national level examination for securing admission into PhD program into various universities including IISC. Apart from an intensive training in sciences, courses in engineering and humanities are prescribed to empower the student with technical skills required for a scientist, to appreciate the social context as well as constraints of doing science. The science and engineering courses are offered by the respective departments at the institute. The humanities course is offered by the Center for Contemporary Studies (CCS) at IISC in collaboration with the Center for Study of Culture and Society (CSCS), Bangalore. Students enrolled in the program take courses in biology, chemistry, engineering, humanities, mathematics, and physics for the first 3 semesters which are common and compulsory to all. In the next four semesters, they choose a major discipline of study and take a handful of other science courses and a stipulated number of engineering and humanities courses. The last semester is devoted to a final project. Besides, all the students, either KVPY or DST Inspire scholars, spend a couple of months in various research institutes across the country exploring a topic or a research problem of their interest. Topic admissions process Admission to research PhD programs of the Institute is based on Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering GATE, career records, and technical interviews in the campus. Candidates are called for interviews based on the entrance test of the Institute or GATE or National Eligibility Test. For course-oriented degrees, ME and M.Tech, the admission is through GATE conducted every year. For research-oriented degree, M.Tech, research, the admission is through the gate. For Master of Management, M. MGT, which has a ceiling strength of only 25 seats across India, the admission is through common admission test. Admission to MDEs is through the gate or the common entrance examination for design. Bachelor of Science graduates can get admission to integrated PhD programs at IISC through the joint admission test for MSc, IIT JAM. IISC does not conduct any entrance test for providing admissions admission. It only organizes aptitude test and interview for PG and research courses. The institution offers UG, PG, research and PhD courses in various fields. Admission into these courses is done through G Main, G Advanced, NEET, SEED, JAM, KVPY and other examinations.
Topic: J.R.D. Tata Memorial Library. Apart from the main library, the institute also has independent departmental libraries. The library moved into the present premises in January 1965, built out of grants provided by University Grants Commission UGC, in commemoration of the Golden Jubilee celebrations of the institute in 1959. In 1995, the library was renamed as J. R. D. Tata Memorial Library. The National Board for Higher Mathematics NBHM, has recognized this library as Regional Center for Mathematics for the South Region and continue to award a special grant towards subscription of journals in mathematics. The annual budget of the library is over 100 million rupees almost $2,500,000 of which subscription towards periodicals alone is about Rs. 90 million. The library currently receives over 1,734 periodical titles, of which 1381 are subscribed, while the remaining titles are received as gratis or on an exchange basis. About 600 titles are accessible through the library subscription. In addition, over 10,000 journals are accessible online, thanks to INDEST subscription. The total holdings of the library exceed 411,000 documents. Topic. Central Computing Facility The Computer Center, established in 1970 as a central computing facility, became Supercomputer Education and Research Center in 1990 to provide state-of-the-art computing facility to the faculty and students of the institute. CERC is created and fully funded by the Ministry of Human Resource Development MHRD to commemorate the Platinum Jubilee of the Institute. It houses India's first petascale supercomputer CRAYXC40 and also the fastest supercomputer in India. Apart from functioning as a central computing facility of IISC, the CERC is engaged in education and research programs in areas relating to supercomputer development and application. The center is also involved in several sponsored research projects in collaboration with several high-profile government and private agencies. Topic: Notable alumni. IISC has produced alumni who have held significant academic and industry positions around the globe. Topic. Notable faculty Two former directors, C. V. Raman and C. N. R. Rao, have been awarded India's highest civilian honour Bharat Ratna. Four former directors, Sir A. G. Bourne, Sir Martin O. Forster, C. V. Raman and J. C. Ghosh, have been knighted. Among the IISC alumni, there are three Rhodes Scholars, several Fellows of the Royal Society, and thousands of members of Indian and Foreign Academy of Sciences. Hundreds of IISC faculty members have also received the Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar Prize for Science and Technology awarded to Indians who have made outstanding contributions under 45 years of age. In spite of these achievements, no alumnus or serving faculty member of IISC has won either a Nobel Prize or a Fields Medal, although C. V. Raman did win a Nobel Prize before becoming the Institute's first Indian director. Topic academic and industrial collaborations The Indian Institute of Science collaborates with various government organizations like the DRDO, the ISRO, Bharat Electronics Limited, Aeronautical Development Agency, National Aerospace Laboratories, CSIR, Department of IT, Government of India, Centre for Development of Advanced Computing, etc. IISC also works in collaboration with private industry and research labs like the Google Inc., General Motors, Microsoft Research, IBM Research, Boeing, Robert Bosch Foundation, Pratt & Whitney and more. A few organizations have been incubated by the Society for Innovation and Development on campus, including Morphing Machines and Sandy, while Gamma Porite is currently under incubation. IISC actively promotes and supports ventures by the faculty, the students and alumni. Strand Life Sciences and ITIUM are some success stories of this initiative. 
In March 2016, a science startup, incubated at the IISC, has built the world's first food grade DNA RNA stain. This might cut the time taken to diagnose conditions such as HIV to a day, from 45 days at present. Topic. Student activities Pravega is the annual Science, Technology and Cultural Festival of Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. Started in 2013 by the undergraduates of IISC, the fest is usually held on the fourth weekend of January. Vijoshi, an annual national science camp for secondary school and undergraduate students, is hosted by IISC. IISC also has active sports teams, major ones being in cricket, football, badminton, and volleyball. They participate each year in the IISM into IISER sports meet and a number of other tournaments and events. Topic. December 2005 terror attack On 28 December 2005, two unknown men started firing indiscriminately inside the IISC campus. Munish Chanda Puri, a professor from IIT Delhi, died in the attack. Four others were injured. Topic. See also Tata Institute of Fundamental Research Indian Institutes of Science Education and Research Mobile Robotics Laboratory at IISC List of universities in India List of autonomous higher education institutes in India DOMS, Indian Institute of Science Open Access in India